Hey folks, um, I've been circuit bending this Super Nintendo here. Um, I don't think this has ever been done before, so I thought I'd have a little uh, check at it. Uh, not circuit bending a Nintendo, obviously, but um, uh, clocking the sound chip on the Super Nintendo. Um, now, I've always known that there was a clock just down here at the front. What I didn't know was there's a clock underneath the shielding at the back as well, which controls um, the sound chip and the sound controller underneath. Now the SNES is based entirely on samples and so the samples that are dictated by the car are played back by the sound chips but the sound chips have their own clock so you can clock them using an LTC 1799. Um, now I was wondering about this for years um, and yeah you can do it. So uh, I'll do some diagrams and stuff like that and stick them up on the net so other people can do that too. Um, it's really simple don't need to rec remove a clock, it's just direct injection. Um, so let's have a look what this does with Street Fighter 2. Um, obviously I'm going to use this on stuff like Mario Paint, but it's straight up Street Fighter 2. And there's your music, Capcom music. I'm going to let it go into, well, I'm going to make it go into a level. I'm using my Top Fighter joystick, can't say. But um, here we go, Street Fighter 2, turbo mode. I'm not injecting the clock yet because I just want to get to a point where we're playing some music for a while. Um, so here's where you playing against Zangief. Playing against fighting Zangief. And I'm going to flick, flick this switch here. Obviously I'm losing. But check it out, the sound's gone really slow. I've just crashed it there, but um, yeah, I haven't uh, managed to trim the clock yet, but it does go faster than it should, which is nice. Let's just leave it on there. Yeah, that's really temperamental. So around there should work. Let's try this once again. It does go faster than the original SNES clock did. See, that's a lot faster. And the voices are all squeaky as well, which is always amusing. So now we've got it high, you can get an idea of the sweep bit from high to low. Right, crash then. Still, you get the idea. Um, you can under and overclock the sound chip from the Super Nintendo. Um, as I said, I'll do some diagrams and stuff. Put links in the description so you can do it yourself. But yeah, new territory. Nice one. Have a good Friday. Let us.